Hey there YouTube, I'm Ikitsu, this is the Ikitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome back to Don't Starve, we're still doing shipwrecks, we're still trying to find that stupid monkey. Uh, I get the feeling like it's actually going to just not show up here. Why is my inventory all suddenly becoming really wet? Anyway, um, yeah, no, we're just going to continue along trucking and hoping that we find somewhere good. Do not remember my inventory all being this wet. This is pretty horrific. All right, so let's see if we can find somewhere else that we can go to. Or how much time have we got here? I just have to get rid of a message there. All right, here we go. Oh, we don't have very much time left in this day. Okay. Well, we did have another spare boat. So that should be okay. We're gonna have to light a fire though. We've got enough grass now that that's not a big deal. All right, let's go do that. Dry off really, really quickly here. And we can also cook these limpets while we're here, I guess. All right. Well, we're making progress, but not very fast progress, and certainly not the progress that we need to be making. And with the increasingly rainy weather, it's making me worried that we're going to end up in a worse and worse situation here. Hmm. Yeah, because if the season changes before I manage to get a base set up, I'm going to pretty much be guaranteed dead, but... Let's toss these in there for now. Let's toss these in there for now. The gold can go in there, I think. The boards probably can as well. Alright. Thank you, not Chester. Can't hide in there forever, I've tried. Alright, perfect. Sanity still a problem. Pack and Baggins just falling asleep right in midair. Water slowly encroaching on my small little uh, fire there. That's good. Hmm. Gonna need more wood for another log raft pretty soon. I don't remember this being where I was, but. Or rather, I don't remember being wet like this. Well, either way, we're about to have our fire extinguished, but that's okay. We'll just torch the rest of the night. Just needed to light the fire so that I would dry off more than anything. Actually, we might make it. Yeah, we're going to make it. Can I not? There we go. Wow, that's a lot of water to have to go through. And I've been having significant problems with drying off this time. Um, let's see if we can find somewhere a little bit more pleasant. I don't think we can. Alright, so let's just... Uh, there we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. So, I think there might be another path up this way. There is a lot of water around here, though. could go back to the bee island just to regain our sanity. Possibly get another uh, hat. But I feel like there's probably a path up here. Oh, there isn't, it looks like, actually. Wow. Okay. Yep. Nope. Nothing up there. Alright. Well. There's nothing left to do but check south of this island. might have to find somewhere with spiders and just uh, make myself a top hat. I don't really want to have to build a science machine, but I mean, we have enough gold and stuff like that that we can do it. So what I could do is build the science machine and then prototype the alchemy engine, but not actually place it down and bring it with me. That way, if I find a better island for a real base, then I can uh, sort of stick there. Alright, well, let's uh, swing around up here for just a brief moment. What's going to happen is like I'm gonna just sail right past him one of these days and it's gonna be awful. 
Alright, no, I don't think he's in here. This is one of those ones where I don't think you're supposed to deliberately search for this guy. I think you're actually just supposed to play enough of this that eventually you organically find him, but I kind of like the older system of unlocking characters where you just play and then you actually just unlock them because you have enough points accumulated. Less stressful, less luck-based. Holy hell, is finding this monkey ever infuriating. Alright. There might be islands south of us here. There's enough space that there could be. But, um... I feel like we're pretty far off from the main island chain at this point in time. I'm wondering if it's more likely to find him in the further off island chains. Like where I'm sort of going here. Ooh, this is looking... I don't know, this isn't that promising. Still pretty close to land. Yeah, no, there's no path here. I'll probably just sail south after this, though. Head directly south to see what we find down that way. Yeah, nothing around here. Oh, we got a bottle, though. That could be good. Alright, let's pick this up. Alright, so there's a treasure back on that island back that we were already at, so it's not really that useful. Alright, so I'm going to start heading south now. I don't think that there's going to be any more paths around this way. Barrel of TNT over there. Good, good. It's nice that the uh, waves aren't actually that extreme right now, so we're going to be able to make okay progress without getting too slammed by waves. I'm going to just sail across a little bit. Actually, no, I can go straight south here, I think. Just making a random, random guess in the dark here, but I think if we hit World Edge, we should be able to teleport back up north and then uh, just come back around to one of the islands we already know where it is. Here's a place, though. Please be a utopian paradise that I can live on. Oh, we're seeing tall birds. That's always a good sign. I'm seeing forest. It's also a good sign. Gold. There's going to be lots of gold on this island, actually. Flowers. We need to just uh, take these, though. And I'm going to actually collect up enough to make a hat, so... That should be okay. We're going to depopulate the place of flowers. Fortunately, they grow back in this uh, version of it, but... Alright, I need 12 of these things, if I recall. Yeah, 12. Okay. So that'll get my sanity back in order. That's really nice that I'm not getting attacked by those uh, nightmare things. But, um... This is looking like a pretty large island at the very least. It's got uh, tall birds, which is a great resource. It's got gold, so that'll help me out a little bit with making things like the lightning rod. I don't know, remember if I have enough of the uh, full tech stuff, but I think I probably actually do. What's going on up here? It's this weird sandy area that's been sort of picked here. It's a bit weird. Oh, that's uh, dried up grass, okay. Hmm. Alright, so this doesn't have the most diverse of biomes. It doesn't have any monkeys or spiders as far as I can tell, but we haven't searched all of it, so there might be... Ooh, there's more land up here, actually. This could be a very nice island. I think we'll torch through the night just so I can explore this island. Yeah, no, it's looking pretty promising. Sick Abigail on that snake over there. Okay, so this island's not going to be ideal, but it is, it's going to be pretty okay. Like, I think... Settling here is going to be a bit of a compromise. There's no pigmen either. 
but that can be that can be fixed though. So, oh, there are spiders on the island. Okay, okay. All right, this isn't so bad actually. Yeah, I think we can make this work. Huh, it's a rare and endangered dodo bird. The bird seems too stupid to be alive. Uh, I think we don't want to kill it. I can't remember for sure. It looks innocent enough. I think we'll leave it alive. Live and let live. Sort of thing here. Alright, so we want to just explore like 100% of this island here. Because you don't want any weird surprises that just jump out at you on a place that you thought was good. It's like, oh yeah, no, it turns out it's haunted. Well, the realtor didn't tell me that. Or I guess as the commercials go, I didn't hire a realtor. That's why I live in this weird, creepy, haunted mansion. Alright. Well... I think we can make the best of this. I think we can. It's definitely not the greatest island that I've ever seen here. But I think it's got enough that we can make it work. The only thing I'm really unhappy about is the lack of uh, pigs. Which is going to be a real pain. Alright. So, where do we want to set up? We want to be kind of near the tall birds, but not like right in them. Sort of thing. Actually, there's no grass on this island, now that I look at it. There's the tiny patch on the desert that doesn't actually grow. Crap. Well, this was a nice island, but I guess that actually is a deal breaker, because if you don't have grass, you can't actually do much of anything. Let's go ahead and grab up this stuff then. Grab up the gold and then leave, plunder the next island. Part of the reason why I'm not settling is because we're traveling anyway, that's sort of the point of this adventure, is to travel and to try and find the monkey, as opposed to actually uh, surviving as long as we can, so establishing a proper base camp isn't as important in this playthrough um, as it normally would be in any other run through. So. Just trying to get as much as we can before we head off to the next island. I don't think I need all the gold from this island. I'm not too worried about it. 22 should be enough for most of what we've got. Or what we need. Okay. <clears throat> Now we just have to scoot around the island and check out what sort of resources are around it, or if there's a monkey king floating around here somewhere. I'm gonna find him in the deep water, and I'm gonna be very, very disappointed with uh, the wiki, basically. Because this is one of those characters, this is one of those rare moments where I did have to look up how to get this character. It's just not gonna happen otherwise. Uh, we've already got 14 of these things, but we'll probably do with a little more, but I think we're gonna leave that for now. Okay. The bigger question though is this, does this lead to anything? Is there an octopus around here? Because that would be pretty okay. This is a big area. doesn't lead anywhere. It's a bit of a shame. I should probably start another one just to play this, like, the, the game as normal. Oh, this isn't good. Help, help. They're after me. I 
think we want to hit the land at this point. We might have to... I think this is poisonous, if I recall correctly. I oh, know, they're leaving me alone now. This is the nice thing about Wendy, is that Abigail can deal with a lot of these threats while you just run away. I'm gonna need more logs pretty soon. I should probably have chopped some trees on that banana island there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm especially going to need to chop, chop some uh, trees just because I'm running out of um, boat here. This is my, like, only boat currently, and I've only got three logs, so... We'll stop over there for the night and chop wood into the night, I guess. Eat roasted bananas. Hmm. Oh, this is really close to the world edge? Interesting. Doesn't look like it's that close to the world edge. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I definitely don't want to be doing that right now. Where would that approximately take us? That would probably take us around here somewhere. Okay, well... I don't think we'll uh, want that right now. Hmm. Yeah, there's no additional paths around this island either. So we probably will go through the uh, world edge in the next day, but I think that this is pretty much what we're going to accomplish. I kind of want a faster boat, but at the same time, they're big resource hogs, getting those bigger boats, especially because you need to have your uh, science machines and stuff like that down. I've got enough gold that I can build more than one science machine without too much hassle, though. Pretty sure there's not going to be any monkey kings around this island, but the only way you can know is by checking, so. Oh, there was a path this way. I think that just leads us to that poisonous island, though. But clearly I haven't paddled around there quite enough. Oh, great. Alright, let's start hatching down some trees here find a good safe spot to do this in. This looks relatively okay. Realizing that there could be snakes in there. Yep. Not a poisonous snake, thankfully. Abigail should be able to handle a lot of snakes at this time of day, so I'm not going to worry too much about this. I'm just going to chop down some younger trees, too. No bananas. Neg, though. Alright. Because clearly, trees grow from eggs. I don't think that's actually what the game's telling me, but still. We're actually probably going to need to build a new boat here while we're on this island. actually helps, if I recall correctly. Can't really remember, though. 
All right. I don't plan on sticking around this island, so conservation efforts are kind of wasted. All right. Hoping we get a poisonous snake so I can prototype the anti-venoms. But uh, not really happening just yet. I think one more tree ought to do us. Oh, there's one. It's really good that Abigail can't be poisoned. Because if she could, this game would be a lot more bullshit. No. Well, it's worth a shot. I think they've only got like a 25% drop chance or something like that, so... Alright. Well, uh... I mean, we really should just check around the rest of this island. But... We really need to find somewhere habitable. It's got we got like five in-game days left before season change, and uh, if season changes on us. We're in pretty big trouble. All right. This is just about the worst luck I've ever had in terms of finding ourselves um, anywhere good. I wish you could pick up those logs, that would make life so much easier to just keep recycling those logs. Okay, yeah, there's where the tall birds are on this island. Okay, well. This boat's so damaged that I'm just going to go around the other side and I'm going to hop onto a boat and then head through the, uh, the hell portal thing. I don't even need that gold. So, hopefully, this will lead us somewhere close to an island, but I don't know for sure if it will. We've got plenty of time uh, as far as the day goes, which is the most dangerous part of this. If it uh, is night when you're doing this, you're in real trouble if you don't have a boat with a lantern. This thing doesn't have the ability to hold the lantern. Can't hold a candle to a real boat. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway. Um, where was it? I think it was just right here. Nice bit of bird seed there. Alright. Looks like our sanity's climbed back just about to fall here, so that's pretty nice. And it looks like the waves are heading in the right direction for us. Uh, you always get hit by one of those when you do this. Soggy and sad. Alright, where the hell are we? Oh, wow, that took us to the top. I didn't think it would take us up. Okay. Alright, well, all my stuff is about to turn soggy and wet, but that's okay. Um... I'm trying to head a bit south as I travel, but east is fine here. Alright, so... Yeah, because if I have to, I want to be able to head down towards that island that I know already exists. But, obviously I want to find new and interesting places instead of just finding the same islands over and over again. Actually, heading into deeper water here. All right. Well, this could be trouble. Hmm. I think we might run into something unpleasant if we keep along these sort of courses. But what? What could possibly be... What could possibly go wrong here? Alright, so yeah, we're going to make our way steadily towards that island, because we're... I'm not even sure if we're going to make it there. It is possible to survive on a raft at night. Um, it's just really hard. So, I'd rather not, obviously. 
And we are not making very good progress here. This is a long distance uh, journey here. Yeah, I can sort of go at this angle and it seems to count, so I'm going to keep on a diagonal here and hopefully get to that island. Nice bit of a shoal there, not that that helps us any. Hoping that the water changes from this dark blue pretty soon here. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's just saving, okay. Okay, we've got very, very little time here, but I think we might make it. So the way that you survive at night is you can flick the torch on, and that'll keep um, the monster at bay for a little while, and then you can uh, sort of row just a little bit to avoid waves or whatever like that, and you just sort of keep doing that over and over again. But if we can get to calm water, it doesn't even matter because we'll just be able to stay on the boat holding a torch. So I'm going to need to build another torch, though. Oh, there's a current here. Oh, this is so bad. Oh my god. Oh, calm water. Calm water. Nope, not quite. Calmer water. Okay, it's technically night, but we got a sliver of uh, light for a second here. We made it. So yeah, the way you do this is you just sort of travel a little bit here, and then you'll get the darkness to swallow me, and there was light, blah blah blah, and you can sort of do that, and you'll live. It's not good, but just as long as you bring the torch back out before the monster hits you, you're okay. Alright, so we need to scavenge this island pretty badly. Limpet rocks, good. Take huts, that's uh, not really that interesting to us. brief scavenging expedition to replenish some of our supplies here, but what we really need, of course, is food. Limpet rocks and coconuts are probably good enough, though, so... Um, I'll get bonked in the head here, but that's okay. Nope. Alright, so. So at this point in time, I really feel like I just need to pick a place, even if it's sub R, and stick with it. Um, which probably is going to have to be this island over here. It's not a great one, but it has got the monkeys that I need. It's got it's got grass, it's got sticks. It's not great. It's just like I don't need the uh, gold anymore, which was a big concern initially. It's not really as big a problem anymore because I've got like 25 of it, I think. So I should be able to just coast on the fact that I've got a lot saved up. I don't know. Hopefully that will be the case. Hopefully we won't starve to death. Before we can get there. Just gonna check to see if there's any... 
seeds lying around or anything like that. Oh wait, there is. Dang it. Just not even paying attention to that bird. It's like, why did that bird land there? Because there's seeds there. I'm an idiot. Okay. There we go. And we kind of need to do a fire for the Olympics, but I think it's going to be worth it at this point in time. Let's also go ahead and hack this. Pretty much going to have to eat our entire inventory here of edibles, except our hat. I don't, I don't need to eat my hat just yet. That brought us back up to pretty okay. Alright, so yeah, we're four days off from the season change. We have to switch islands. We're gonna have to just wait out the uh, seasons until we can get to a more pleasant one again. Which really sucks, I do think that. I think that there's like two seasons in a row that are bad in uh, Shipwrecked. It might be three. I guess uh, you can kind of travel during the uh, Heat Wave one. It's hard, but um, it's better than traveling during the rainy season. The rainy season I have traveled in before. It's just really bad if you get caught out at night with the tornado thing. But that's also bad if you get caught in your base. But it's kind of a catch-22 there. You're kind of just screwed no matter what you do. Alright, so we need to keep our uh, food stores up and we're completely out. So we'll be picking seaweed along the way back to that island that will uh, turn to home base. Hopefully it'll work out for us, though. Actually, is there a reef relatively near there? Yeah, there is. That's actually pretty okay, then. No octopus, though. I wish Shipwreck had, like, the option to play on smaller maps that would still have all the stuff. Because, like, the maps are fun to explore, but they sometimes get just too big. <laughs> it's the point of being a bit obnoxious. Ugh. Alright. So, we're directly south of here. Okay. We're just gonna have, like, this large collection of abandoned rafts outside of that place that have, like, 10% health each and just immediately start leaking. It's gonna be great. Alright, so we should be able to make it to that island. bit of uh, exploration we can do just to co uncover a little bit more of the map. I haven't found very many bottles lately. Like, I used to find tons and tons of messages and bottles to find, like, maps and find islands that way. I haven't been finding as many of those lately. shortcut through there? I think we want to shortcut through there. Don't have a ton of daylight left and we don't want to have that being stuck out in the sea sort of thing again. Ouch. There we go. Did it right the second time. There we go. The boat's pretty dinged up but not that badly. Actually, I forget. Was there... I forget what that's for. I think that's the one that used to travel to the next world, but not important to us either way. The equivalent of the potato portal. Alright, um, I think we're heading slightly wrong way here. No, straight down, yeah. Okay. Should probably get uh, hunting and harvesting spiders. There's only like one spider nest on this island, which is a bit unfortunate, but. Hopefully we'll be able to get something done there. Alright, and we've made landfall. On the, on the Compromise Island is what we're probably going to call it. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. So, we'll just have to make do with what we can get here. I'm going to go for uh, building it sort of near the green stuff so that I'm not near, not right on the uh, 
area that's going to flood easily. But without being too close to the local wildlife. Let's go ahead and actually make a fire pit here. Actually, I, uh, well, yeah, we're going to make a fire pit. Alright, build a science machine. We'll build it down here. And that gives us access to a whole lot of stuff. Don't have enough for boards though, so we are going to need to chop some wood here. I guess we're fairly near Pig Island. We could go there once we get a bunch of stuff and uh, just kill a bunch of pigs. Just gonna build another one of these for now. Um, I probably should. Hmm. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, no, I should probably plant the coconuts rather than eating them. Poisonous snake. Good. Did they die? I don't feel like they died. Hmm, they must have. Alright. Let's go ahead and invent the shovel. a couple of palm fronds in there. We don't really need them that badly. Right, plant that up there. And let's get packing Baggins over here. We need this, this. Don't really need these, but we'll keep them. do I need for chimenea? I need two, and then I need the sand, right, okay. So I have got enough of that right now. Probably want to keep the rest of that coral. Get ourselves a spear, just in case. I thought I built the hand bag for a second there, almost. Alright, um, survival-wise, we want to upgrade the regular backpack. Right. Okay, so let's pick up the backpack, throw a bunch of stuff at it. Batch pack, put this in our regular inventory, switch to the backpack. There we go. Main juggling and shit. Alright, we need electric doodads, we need uh, refined stone for that. It's going to be very annoying. Um, make a whole bunch of refined stone for a second here. Right, electric doodad. We need two. We need boards, which Packin' Baggins has. So we can go ahead and place down our alchemy engine now. We'll collect up some sand. Oh, wait, what the hell? Hmm, I just destroyed the sand pile. That's, uh, not good. Alright. Well, either way. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a chimenea. Actually, we'll build a night so that I've got the extra fire. Um, what do I need now? Uh, I don't need those. Lightning rod. Okay, we'll put it sort of more to this end, because that's where I think we're going to have more flammable stuff just naturally as a result of uh, the way this place is. Alright. Take us some sticks here and uh, harvest a little bit more wood. Probably going to need some lean to, so I actually probably do need those palm pots now that I think about it. Alright. Eat up as much as we can here for a second. over here. Is there a bee's nest on the island? Yeah, there was just one bee's nest. Hmm. You might want a bee box just because we don't have that many food resources and that would be a pretty good way to get that. 
And of course it would also give us those pulses, which would be amazing. Okay. Where did Abigail go? Oh, there she is. It's just like, if Abigail got killed by something random off screen, I'd be very, very irritated. Alright, well, it's doing okay. As far as uh, food goes, not great, but uh, we're not starving as the game suggests, so. Mission achieved. What the hell is this? Oh, weird. Next day, we're going to go ahead and go spider hunting and stuff like that, but for now, let's go ahead and get ready to make a thatch roof uh, thing. Don't just think we need anything else here, so that should be okay. Oops, um, what was the thatch roof thing, though? That would be under structure, shouldn't it? Sign, hay wall, wood wall, blah, blah, blah. Floor, cobblestones, birdcage, goon den, primate hut. Hmm. Snake skin rug. Interesting. Sand castle. Yes, it must be under survival. I can never remember where that thing goes. I don't think I really need the thermal stone this time. And see, I still need to. Fall leaf hut. There we go. Okay, so it is under survival. We need a bunch of bamboo poles and a bunch of other crap. Okay. Uh, what else am I jab in there? There, gold. How about I do? And then let's uh, go ahead and start macheteing some bamboo, I guess. So we need to... Uh, Alright, there's enough over here. Okay, well this is working out relatively not that bad. We we'll want the siesta lean-to right beside the uh, fire, so that should be okay. What else do I need? Don't have enough palm? Yeah, I didn't have enough palm leaves. Okay. I don't think I've got enough time for this. Oh yeah, no I do. Need some sticks as well. We're doing a pretty okay job here of getting things set up. I think this is going to be a relatively okay base. It's not going to be the best of them, just because our access to food is quite poor. But I think it'll do. Alright, so we're going to build that chimney here, and then we're going to demolish our regular fire. Forgot that I didn't really need it, so I built it by accident. Fortunately, it's just rocks. It's not really a huge deal. Um, do we have a hammer? You've got it right back in bacon. Huh. Oh, no, there it is. Huh. That was annoying. Anyway. Still need that extra palm leaf, so I guess we don't really have uh, like everything we need. Actually, let's pick those up. Uh, we could use them pretty soon. Um, structurally... Could do with the chest. Let's grab, uh, let's actually grab those planks back up. Yeah, we need one more. I should make a rope just so I've got that prototype, otherwise, I could be in real trouble there. Um, short this chest. Go. And, uh, just throw some of that stuff in there. 
Pack and Baggins can uh, handle quite a bit, but I don't want to have everything in there just in case he gets killed. In fact, we're going to take the gold out of there. The bottle out of there and the doubloons. Actually, no, the doubloons you can keep because uh, if we end up in a situation where we can cash in those doubloons, like this, there's a sort of slot machine out there, then uh, we could definitely benefit from that. Bottle. Alright, there we go. Gonna have to kill enough snakes to get a snake skin jacket or a snake skin hat or something like that, I think. I forgot what you actually use to make those, though. Blah, 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 blah. Star press, floral shirts, blah, 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 blah. Sleek hat. Ugh. Some of these are made out of pretty horrifying stuff. Right, well. Let's go ahead and chop down more trees. We can. It's not actually that many uh, palm trees out here that are still that are fully grown. I don't need to use a fully grown one, but it's a better idea to wait till they are fully grown so that uh, I don't depopulate the entire island of them. Here they are. Okay. Might be a good idea for me to chop a bunch of them down and then just uh, replace them. Just like a chance that you get a coconut out of each of these, uh, or two coconuts out of each of these, you're guaranteed to get at least one. <laughs> but if you want to repopulate, you need to chop down a lot of trees and plant all the coconuts. Kinda sucks, but... I haven't been getting hit in the head a lot, that's pretty good. Yeah, these all gave me just one. It's really bad. some uh, limpets along the way. But we might have to go for a monkey-based diet again here. Which always sucks when you have to do that, but it is what it is. Um, or something like that. Shouldn't have happened yet, but I don't actually remember if that uh, is impacted by a season change, though, either. Hmm. Okay, let's go hunt spiders so that I can get a bee net, because I definitely feel like getting that bee net is going to help us out here a bit. Okay. So the spiders were, like, all the way down here, quite quite a ways away from us. I didn't want to settle that near them. But uh, we're also heading into monkey territory, so we have to be careful about that. Hmm. This is a pretty crappy uh, spider den. We're definitely going to want to upgrade to level 3 at some point so we can get two spiders. You can actually even get like the spider queen thing to come out like tier three, and once it does, it kind of um, if you can get to tier three, it like uh, and kill the spider queen. I think that you can get two spider nests out of that. You can get more spider nests. I can't remember actually for sure. I try to avoid letting that sort of thing happen. All right. We also do want to start collecting up some snake skin, so it's a good idea for us to be around there doing that. All right, so we didn't get any silk on that adventure, but I guess that's okay. Finally starting to see a little bit of uh, the trees that we planted poking back up, that's good. 
Not getting very much snake skin from these snakes. They used to have a high drop rate, but really got nerfed. Oh, good flag this one. Damn, didn't drop anything. There we go. If I do the attack thing, it just makes her stay on it a little bit better. Mm. Not ideal. But I guess a little bit of monster meat will help help a bit in the long run. Okay. Some doubloons over here, nice. Or as we call them in Canada, double loonies. A toonie, you could say. Our currency is so stupid in Canada. Alright, got another snake skin, perfect. a spider fight going on over here. Can't see a thing down here though. Hmm. Yeah, monkey's gonna be a nuisance, I bet. Yeah, maybe I'll kill him. faith that Abigail can kill a monkey. Especially at this time of day. Alright, did we have another... Hmm. Alright. This is actually pretty good. We do need manure. So the more of that that I can get, that's going to really help out. Ideally, we'll eventually be able to start farming stuff if we can get enough of that, so... It's one of the other reasons that monkeys are a great sort of way to think of farm. Alright, limpets as well there. Alright, let's get, uh... You want the palm leaf hut to be really close to the fire. Then on the other side of the palm leaf hut we're going to put our, like, crock pot. And that should mean that we can uh, use all that stuff without having to get up out of the comfort of our little, uh, palm leaf hut, which is nice. I like that you can actually go under this, so you could just sort of make like an entire pathway of palm leaf huts if you really wanted to. Just palm leaf hut everything. They'd all get lit on fire eventually by something, but you know, until that happened it would be pretty good. Alright, so we're going to want to build probably the cargo boat. I don't know if we really need the armored boat. Snake skin sail would also be pretty nice, so probably aim for that. But in the meantime, I think this is all that we're going to be doing for today. I hope you found this one enjoyable, and of course, as always, hope to see you all next time.